Hi, do you have a 2,000 pound hippo in your garden? Me neither. Come with me and let's have a look. Yeah, here we have a real dwarf hippo. The name dwarf hippo doesn't mean that it's small. It actually weighs over 200 kilos and moves easily around in the water like some kind of a strange submarine. I like hippos because they are so round and, and nice and cuddly. Bye, hippo. Bye. Ready to draw? All right. Dig out your pencils and we'll draw a hippo. First, I'll draw a circle. I let my pencil run around the circle a bit to make it stronger. At the top of the circle, I'll draw a smaller half circle. Out from the big circle, I'll draw an even bigger circle. Look at that. One, two, three circles. At the top, I'll draw two small circles that becomes the eyes. Then I'll draw two larger circles in the center circle. Those are the nostrils of the hippo. And those I'll color right away. Over the nostrils, I'll draw a little curve. Then it's time for the big hippo teeth. And when they are in place, I think you can see that it looks like a hippo. Then it's time for arms and legs. First the arms with two nails at the end. And then the legs that sticks right out from the side of the body. They also get two nails at the end. Most of my animals are very fond of drawing themselves. So I'm happy to give them a pencil. And now I'll draw in some shadows. I put it under the hippo's body because then it looks like it's sitting on the ground. Do you have your colors ready? Then we'll begin with the red color and color in the pencil. When it's finished, we draw a big heart in the middle of the hippo's body. It's because it's so kind. Then we'll continue with pink on the body. A pink hippo. Yeah, now that's cool. What do you think the hippo should be called? How about Henry? Yeah. You think that's a good name? Hey, I got an idea. Since hippos are so fond of water, I'll draw a water line almost up to Henry's eyes. And then I fill with blue color all around his body. Ooh, so nice. A giant bathtub for a hippo that loves to draw. And at the bottom, I color yellow sand. There, Henry sits comfortably while he thinks about what to draw. We need something in the sky as well. How about some sunshine and a pair of clouds? And then the, our picture is complete. Oh, so nice and round shapes. Perfect for easy cartooning. Want to see more? Subscribe and see more videos.